Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here with one last card. We're winding down the August 2021 Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. Next week, we'll start rolling out uh, with the September kit. So I'm going to use a couple of the leaf images. I actually only planned originally to use that um, really delicate maple leaf there that I've pulled out. And then I also pulled out a fun sentiment. And we're just going to kind of do a clean, simple design. I have a panel of a t uh, white cardstock that you can see there is a little smaller than my horizontal top folding card base. And I'm only going to use my Misty to stamp my sentiment, only because this is going to be black and bold and right in the center, and I just want to get it on there. Um, the rest I'm just going to be moving around so much that I really wasn't worried about that. And I'm also going to be using Distress Oxide inks, which um, stamp really well, but I also um, with the detail of this, because I was going to be layering them, I wasn't too worried if, um, if they didn't stamp perfectly at some point along the way. All right, so I'm going to start off there with ripe persimmon, and I'm just inking up my stamp, and as you can see, just stamping around this image stamps really beautifully. Um, you could also do this on watercolor paper and mist with water to get kind of a soft watercolor effect. Um, I, I just kind of went with it on the white cardstock this time because I kind of wanted a clean and simple and I wanted to keep all that beautiful detail on this stamp. And you can also keep this as clean and simple as you want. I am stamping around with more colors, but even just stamping these two colors, I went around and kind of thought I even like the look of that, even just leaving it at that layer. But I think it's fun to bring in a non-traditional color sometimes. So um, that second color, I don't remember if I said was fossilized amber. And this final color is peacock feathers. Um, there's something just about that aqua blue tone that's really fun to bring into fall color schemes. And I'm quickly just cleaning that off between each color but then I pulled out you can see kind of that leaf and acorn I'm not using the acorn portion of it only that top leaf just because I ended up wanting a little bit more of a different leaf effect to put on here and I kind of ended up just alternating between colors building it up slowly until I was happy with the finished effect so I went back through those same colors that I used to start with and just kind of stamped and added um, I think I did two of each color around there and then I did come in and tuck a little bit more, but I'm only using the tip and kind of the end of it to, to fill it in there. All right, one more little bit of the blue tucked around the side there. I'm just trying to keep the balance of the colors so that you've kind of got each of the colors spread out evenly around the entire front there. All right, now I'm gonna pop this up on my white card base with foam adhesive. So I went ahead and layered that on. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Um, but then once I had my foam on there, it occurred to me it felt like it just needed a little something else so I pulled out some ground espresso distress oxide ink and I'm just using a foam blender I didn't want to waste time to look for a handle and I had some spare blenders you could do it on a handle you could use a blending brush I just kind of want to add a little pop of color around the edge and then you know as you keep going you look at it and think okay it feels like it needs something else still so I decided to add some splatters with that ground espresso ink again so I just smooshed it onto my, uh, I'm using a glass mat. If you don't have a glass mat, just use a clear block or a paint palette. And then I just put a little bit of water in there with a fine brush and use that to add some splatters. And I think that was exactly what it needed to kind of finish out that background and add a little texture. All right, final touch is some metallic gold pearls. These are from Pinkfresh Studio. They're just gonna add a little more sparkle and shine. And I tuck those around the two sides of the sentiment for that little touch of dimension and sparkle. And then this clean and simple card is all finished, fun and super easy. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.